Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and map your Logitech G Extreme 3D Pro joystick with Botticera. So what we're going to do today is we're going to dive into this. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in terms of mapping this because it's fairly easy to set up, but you do need to know exactly what functions to assign to which buttons when mapping this. So let's dive into it. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so the first thing we need to do in order to get our joystick mapped and set up on Botticera is we first need to connect our USB cable to our gaming PC or whatever computer we're using Botticera on. So I've just connected that to my PC here. In this case, I'm using my HP Pavilion gaming PC along with Botticera. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our main menu. And you can do this with either a gamepad controller or a keyboard. I'm using a keyboard today. So if you're on a keyboard, go ahead and hit your space bar. That's gonna open up your main menu. If you're using a regular gamepad controller, then just start is going to open up the same menu. From here, we're gonna go down and navigate down to the third option, which is controller settings. And we'll go ahead and select that. We're gonna hit the first option here, which is configure a controller. And we're gonna get this little confirmation screen here. We can just go ahead and select okay. And you'll come to this page right here. And if you already have a gamepad controller connected, then you're likely going to see it say here, two gamepads detected. In this case, for me, it just says one because I'm using a keyboard as opposed to a gamepad controller. So the only controller that I have currently connected to my system is this joystick right here. So you're going to hit any button on your joystick and it's gonna populate the name of your joystick into the bottom of this box here. So I'm just gonna pull the trigger. You see that it puts the name in there and then it advances me into the configuring page. So from here, the way we're gonna map this is our first options are our D-pad. So we're gonna go up with our D-pad, which is located right up here. So I'll just push that D-pad up. I'll push it down for down. I'll push it left for left and right for right. Next thing I'm gonna do is start. So you can do this with any of the buttons that you want on here, but what I like to do is start, I like to use as this button up here. So the silver grayish button here next to the D-pad, all the way on the left. So I'm gonna hit that as start. Select, I'm gonna use the same button on the other side. And now for A, I'm going to hit this button right here where my thumb would line up. For B, I'm gonna pull the trigger located right back here. I use X as this button right here. I use Y as this button over here, right below select. And next what we're going to do is we're going to map our left analog up and left. We're not going to use the right hand side. I'm gonna mention that before we get started here because some people like to get a little carried away. And um, if you're coming in from like the RetroPie side, you may not be used to just going left analog up and left analog left. You might be used to going, you know, left, right, up and down here. So. For left analog up, we're actually gonna pull our joystick towards us. So we're gonna go this way. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go left analog left. So we're gonna go over here to the left now. And you can see both of those mapped in. Since the next options are the right analog and we only have one analog here because we only have one joystick, we're going to bypass these. We can do this by hitting any of the buttons we've already configured or if you're on a keyboard, you can just hit your arrow keys down and skip each of these options. I'm gonna show you just by hitting uh, this button right here. So since that's already mapped, it just skips all of these additional options. And you can actually go in and you can map these if you want to. We have a bunch of buttons down here. If you wanna to try to use some of these, you can go ahead and do that. But for the majority of your games that you'd be playing with a joystick, you really don't need to map your shoulders or uh, trigger buttons or any of that stuff. So we're gonna bypass all of these here. And we're gonna go all the way down to hotkey. Hotkey is going to be the button that we hit along with start to exit games when we're in an actual game. So you can do this two different ways. You can utilize some of these buttons down here or you can just assign a dual function to select, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna hit select here so what that means is if we're in a game and we wanna exit that game, all we have to do is we have to hit select along with start, and that's gonna activate the dual function on the select button. So both of these together acts as the hotkey function. So all we have to do now to save this is we need to pull our trigger. And we're good to go. So to back out of these screens here, we can use this button right here underneath my thumb, and that backs us out to all those pages, and we can go up and down and pick out what game we want to test this out with. So I'm gonna go into Sega Model 3. 
selecting it with my trigger back here. And let's go up to Star Wars Trilogy Arcade, which is actually the game that made me want to pick this up and try to attempt using this with Bodicera in the first place. So again, selecting it, I'm going to pull the trigger. And there we go, jumping right into the game. All right, so once we jump into our game, we're gonna let it first load up here. And then we are going to insert our coins. Inserted coins is always going to be select. I recommend just hitting it one time. Don't add a bunch of coins in here or you, on some games, will actually throw this off. So one coin in there, it actually doubles as two there. And then we can select just by going back and forth here as to which level we wanna jump into. I'm gonna go into the first one. Trigger, again, is going to enable me to actually confirm my selections. And we're gonna test this out. All right, so here we are. So really great movement on here. Really happy with the performance. Takes a little getting used to if you haven't been used to playing games on a joystick like this, but definitely a lot of fun. And this really gives you the uh, most accurate feel to what the original game would have been like. All right, so you can see from this video, super easy setup process here. You just need to know which buttons to assign to which functions, and then you're up and running. And you can see just by jumping into a handful of games here that it runs super well, really great feel to this, especially for those old school arcade games where you were using a joystick. So you can jump into N64 though, Dreamcast, PlayStation, all these different collections as well. So feel free to dive into some of your favorite games, test it out. Can't say it's gonna be the ideal setup for every single game out there, but I particularly do enjoy this for some racing games, especially those with like boats and um, airplane games, stuff like that. I find that they really work nicely with a single joystick like this. So test them out, let me know what you guys think. I'll also put a link in the description of this video to this specific joystick, but don't feel like you need to use this specific one. Most joysticks have the same sort of setup on there. They may differ slightly, but usually you have the same amount of functions available on the joystick. So you could theoretically get a bunch of different branded joysticks. As long as they're set up very similar to this, the mapping process would be pretty much identical. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel to stay in the loop for all future videos. I do a ton of stuff on here based around retro gaming, product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials, all that good stuff and a lot of new stuff coming to the channel in the very near future as well. So smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. I'll see you all real soon.